I'm going to take you guys through a little tip I'm working with find and replace inside of Dreamweaver. Now, you can do this in just about any version of Dreamweaver. I just happen to have Dreamweaver CS5 because it's the latest version. Now, suppose that you have a page, and this one doesn't have any styling on it because I just copied and pasted stuff. You have a page, and you want to be able to get rid of links, or you want to get rid of stuff on the page that, you know, you don't want to have to go in and, and delete yourself. Now, this is a prime example. We actually have a website called AskBrianWood.com, and I like to take the TOCs that are generated, the table of contents for the videos that we, we uh, create. And if you look, here it is right here. It's pretty long. It talks about all the videos we, we show for this, you know, for learning Dreamweaver. I like to take this and remove the links and use it as a text-based table of contents, just something I could throw somewhere for sales or something like that. Now, the problem is I need to go in here and remove all these links. I could put my cursor in each one of these, go to the property inspector and try and delete the link. Okay, and that would take me forever. Or I could go to the code and take a look at the links. And you can see right here that the link is an A tag. I could go in and find all these and replace them. And that's what I want to show you. So I go to edit and choose find and replace. I know a lot of you have used find and replace in certain uh, you know programs, even in this program. But a lot of times when you start with find and replace, it's going to say, where do you want to find what you're looking for? Well, I'm going to start my current document. That's the document that is open that I have stuff selected in. And if you guys select something on the page, it's going to stick it here and say, okay, well, let's search the source code by default. I switched that real quick. And it puts whatever you have selected right there in find. Now, this is great. I can say find and replace. If I leave replace blank and click replace, it'll replace this stuff right here with nothing. Okay. But the problem is that all these links are different. So I'd have to go to each one and select it and replace it, which is stupid. So here's what we can do instead. I can search for a generic tag and replace them with nothing or something else. If I come to search and choose specific tag, come in here. Now, I did this before. Uh, I do this a lot, actually. And I recently just did this on the this document, but I undid it. We can tell what tag to, to search for. Now, this is an HTML tag. So we can search for an A, which is an anchor tag. And we can say it has to have a certain attribute. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to click the minus sign. And it's going to say, okay, well, let's just search for any anchor tag in the document. Now, if I click find next, it's going to find the next anchor tag. Now, what's interesting is if you look, let me move this out of the way. It's selecting the opening tag and the closing tag, including the text that the link is on. Now, what we can do is once we find that, we can come to action here and say, you know what? Let's replace the tag and the contents just the contents inside the link, uh, remove the tag and the contents, strip the tag, change the tag, set an attribute, all sorts of things. A lot of times I like to just strip the tag. So what that means is if I click replace on the one that's highlighted, it's going to remove the anchor tag but leave the text behind. Really pretty cool. Now the problem here, you guys, is that it's going to do every link on the page. So I can click find next, go to the next one, click replace, find next, go to the next one, replace. Now, if I click replace all, it's going to find every link on the page, just a generic A and replace it. So you guys will notice here that I've got some IDs in here, which I'm kind of lucky on, but I could go in and say, you know what, let's find the ID called hello13 and replace those. So if we want to add some kind of attribute or something, we can click on this plus, say with the attribute, without the attribute, containing, whatever, with the attribute, ID equals, and if I come over here and say, hello, 13, I can click find next. It'll find the next one. I can click replace all. And what it does is goes out and finds all the ones with hello, 13 in it. Now, I only have one. That's great. <laughs> so let me try another one. So I'll go to hello. There's different IDs in each one of these, you guys. So I'll go to find and replace. ID equals hello. Let me just do that. Replace all. And you'll see what it does. It actually does a search for us and replaces it. So you guys can do all sorts of things with that. It's just a great way to be able to strip tags using find and replace and kind of pinpoint what you want to do with the pitch.